kendo tournament organised by uh, quite a few of the Dutch national and former national team. And we've got Ijima Sensei, who's a, a Japanese sensei, uh, mm. sort of like the namesake of the uh, tournament. Um, yeah, so myself and one other person came out from London. Uh, I think there were maybe seven other people from the UK, but um, mostly from Manchester. Yeah, so at the moment I'm in a sort of uh, last minute mix-up team. So I'm teamed up with um, a Swiss guy, a French guy, a Serbian guy, and then myself and uh, Ching, who's from London. Ah. And we're called the Swiss Ronin, so I think, may I want to say there's about a thousand to a thousand people, maybe, who practice in the UK. Um, the majority of those are like so the older generation. So in terms of people around my age group, which is around the, you know mid twenties, we don't have that critical mass of young people. I think it's getting better actually because uh, there's been a more of a push to get university students involved, and we've got a few university clubs, especially in London, that have been able to keep running year in year out. Whereas uh, quite a few clubs tend to have a few people who are serious, they're here for three years and then of course they have to move on. And then the club goes back down to zero. Um, but yeah, I think the main issue is, you know, if you, have a, if you have a lot of young people doing it, that makes more young people want to do it. If you have no young people at the club, it sort of, it tends to push, put people off.